Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to another magical day. I hope you're ready for an incredible day of learning and of adventure. But kicking us off first, to do the Pledge of Allegiance, we have a dynamic duo. Here are Sloan and Holden Lewis leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Lewis family, take it away. Good morning, Weaver Wells. My name is Sloan Lewis, I, and I am in second grade, and this is someone in class. And my name is Sloan Lewis, and I am in the seventh, kindergarten, the seventh class. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remove all hats and hoods and place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge, pledge your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Ah, great job, Lewis family. Thank you so much for doing that for us. Okay, shifting gears a little bit, we're going to continue our focus on loyalty and two aspects of it, two things that make up loyalty honesty and trust. And to really kind of give you a great picture of it, I wanted to share with you a classic Aesop fable, The Boy Who Cried Wolf. And this is a great story because it really showcases how if we don't take honesty and trust seriously, that when really bad things happen, we may not have people there to support us. So really, when we're talking about loyalty, we're really looking at being honest, being trustworthy, we want you to do what you say, and we want to be able to know that what you're telling us is honest. So enjoy, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Ping pong. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd boy. <sighs> Oh, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything fun I can do? The shepherd boy came up with an idea. And he ran into town yelling, Ow! Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf! Where? Where's the wolf? The village people all came out with sticks and clubs. What? A wolf? There's a wolf? There's a wolf? Yeah, a wolf. Yeah, a wolf. Yeah, a wolf. <laughs> I just made that up. I can't believe I tricked you all. <laughs> the village people became furious and they left. The boy had so much fun playing the wolf trick again. A few days later, the boy played the wolf trick again. Ow! Wolf! There's a huge wolf! The people came out running with their sticks and clubs again. <laughs> I tricked you again! <laughs> you evil boy! We're never going to fall for this trick again! The people were even more furious this time when they left. No! Oh, come on, uh, let's go. Then, one day, a big and scary wolf really did appear. Oh. <laughs> help! Please! Someone help! There's a wolf! Really! There's a wolf! Huh. There he goes again. Does he think we're going to fall for that trick again? That's absurd! Hearing his cries, the village people didn't move an inch. But it was at that time that the wolf ate all the sheep. 